Today, Property Brothers is back in District 5 and we are bringing you to a beautiful two-beta patio unit standing at a size of 1292 square feet. And if you are someone who is looking for a house that's close to amenities and you want to have the sufficient PSF disparity between the older projects and the newer projects, I think you're in for a treat today. Let's go. Now welcome to the unit and before I show you this beautiful home, let me just bring out some facts regarding this project. Now West Cove has a total of 234 units spread across three towers and there's full-fledged facilities including your tennis courts and as well as the gym. And of course, we are flanked in between West Coast Road and West Coast Crescent. Now West Cove is a 99-year project completed in 1998 and at that time, there were only one other project that was built in a similar time frame, which is West Bay Condominium, and that was completed in 1994. These two projects, one of the closest to West Coast Plaza as well as West Coast Hawker Center. I'll touch more about the location in detail later, but now let's talk a little bit about the floor plan. Today we're showing you a two-bader patio unit standing a very generous size of 1292 square feet. And as you come in from the entrance, you'll first see the dining area with the living room behind it. And of course, towards the end is where your personal patio area is, where you can see Clementi Woods Park from here. Now towards the left, you have your open concept kitchen and yard area, which has been combined to create a larger kitchen for more space. Also, towards the left of the unit is where you'll find your common bedroom where the owner has sealed off the entrance of the WC that was originally at the back of the kitchen and opened an entrance from your common bedroom. In other words, this can also be considered as your junior master. And last but not least would be your master bedroom with its own ensuite bathroom. And I think for this layout, it's excellent because you realize there are very minimal corridors located in the house. And I think this would be perfect for people who wishes for more space efficiency within the unit. Now the owner has placed in a lot of thought into designing this home and when you come into the unit, first thing you realise is that they have decked out the entire flooring in wood grain vinyl flooring and from this entrance, they have placed in a mirror here for aesthetics but if you wish, what you can do is to do up some cabinetry or some storage spaces for you to put in your go-to items before you leave home. For both the dining and living area, lighter materials and colours have been used and of course, for the dining area, a four-seater rectangular table has been used currently and to create space segregation between the living and dining, what the owner has done is to have the original ceiling height with cove lighting for the dining area and for the living area, she has created an L-box four ceiling for the down lighting to be installed. And as we move to the living area, a very nice white feature wall has been built in here. And of course, they've placed a 65-inch TV here. But because of the wide span of feature wall and a good watching distance from your sofa to the TV, you can actually place in at least a 75-inch table. Now, because the length of the living room is long enough, they can additionally place in a study desk over here on top of placing your own sofa. Now, the viewing distance from this side of the wall to the next wall is roughly 3.4 to 3.5 meters. Now, what you can do is to put in an L-shaped sofa plus a chair on the side and then put in your coffee table in the middle and that can easily see you up to four to five packs in total. Now let's move on to the patio. When we're talking about hosting, I think the patio space is perfect for you to increase the number of packs having in your house at any one time. Now what has already been done is there is this umbrella shade that has been installed for you by the developer. But what I'll do is to create a roof awning large enough so it covers 70 to 80 percent of the patio and that you can put in a six to eight seater dining table outside so that you increase the number of packs maybe from five all the way to ten people at any one time additionally what i'll do is also to add in synthetic grass across the entire patio put in a small barbecue pit at the back and that will complete my personal hosting patio space Before we show you the rest of the house, let me bring out the site plan to orient a little bit of where we are within the project. Now within West Coast itself, the three towers are surrounding the facilities which is a popular way in which developer build projects with a squarish land plot. Highest floor for each tower is 7 and in terms of facilities, there are multiple swimming pools with jacuzzi, clubhouse with a gym, two tennis courts, BBQ pavilions as well as a children's play area. Now in terms of choices within West Coast itself, if you prefer a unit that has an external facing, Tower 1 faces West Bay Condominium, Tower 3 faces Blue Horizon, along West Coast Crescent and last but not least, our tower faces towards Clementi Woods Park. Now if you are someone who prefer a quieter facing with a greenery view, I think our unit do have its advantage. Now let's head back in and I'll show you the kitchen. 
Now what the owner has done for the kitchen is that through the entrance way, they have placed in two side cabinetries, which is very, very smart so that instead of placing at the entrance, they have placed in their go-to items before they leave house right at the entrance way so that it's a dual kind of usage. And they've also extended the kitchen countertop table so that it touches your dining area. And this forms like a mini kitchen island. And then when you come in the kitchen, naturally your fridge will be placed in this corner right here. There's sufficient height so that you can place in even a taller fridge if you want to. Built in microwave and oven at this corner right here. And you have this elongated black galaxy countertop table for you to place in ample of appliances. Sink right here and there's of course top and bottom hung cabinetries built in for you already. Towards the back, this is where your yard is. They have placed in the washer, come dryer over right in this corner. And I think it's excellent that instead from this end to place in the entire kitchen countertop table, they have also added in full height cabinetry for you to place in certain things like your vacuum cleaner if they are slightly taller and of course your bicycles they can be placed in here as well and of course right inside is where you'll find your refuse chute as well. Now West Cove is located in West Coast in District 5 and where we are located is actually 5 to 7 minutes drive away from Clementi and a stone's throw away from NUS. We are surrounded by several other projects such as Sea Hill, The Vision, Blue Horizon, West Bay Condominium and further down towards Pasir Panjang Road is where you'll find some boutique projects such as Luxville and Murano. So where we are is actually in the intersection in between West Coast Road and Pasir Panjang Road and 15 minutes from where we are will actually lead you to Tanjong Paga via the West Coast Highway. And in in terms of schools, being close to Clementi has its perks where we are well within 10 minutes walking distance from NUS, Japanese School Singapore as well as Kenridge Secondary School. And we are also within 10 minutes drive away from Nanhua Primary and Nanhua Secondary School. For food and groceries, you have West Coast Plaza and West Coast Hawker Centre, both within 10 minutes walking distance as well. And if you love nature, West Cove is flanked in between two parks, West Coast Park and Clementi Woods Park. And both parks are excellent for jogging and having your family picnic over the weekends. And I think in terms of master plan, you will start to see the Greater Southern Waterfront taking shape with new residential plots in the pipeline. And in terms of location, it will most likely benefit District 4 and 5 the most. And if you are someone who is looking at growth areas in Singapore, and perhaps you also want large floor plate sizing, you can potentially consider West Cove because although it may be slightly older in comparison to some of its neighbouring projects, you do have a balance lease of 69 years left. Now if you were to hold the property for at least 5 to 7 years, when the new residential plots at Greater Southern Waterfront has been launched, this can benefit you when the new launches at that time can then set new benchmark pricing across District 5 and 4. With sufficient PSF pricing disparity between the new launches and our project, this can certainly give a boost in terms of the appreciation runway between us and the newer launches in the future. While the potential spillover effects from Greater Southern Waterfront has not kicked into the pricing in this area, I think it's really worth considering having this home in your portfolio expansion journey. Now before we touch on the pricing behaviour within the West Coast area itself, let me first show you the bedrooms. Now this is the common bedroom and what the owner has done is that they have merged the common toilet together with this bedroom which is why you get this additional space right here. With this additional space, what you actually can do is to place in a king size bed with ample walking space available. Now they have only placed in a single bed, include a study desk here. With these two panels of window right here in the common bedroom, it gives very good natural lighting into the entire room. Now, of course, it would be smart to place in the desk here but if you wish, you can also place in your king size bed right in the middle and retain your study desk right at the corner right here. Okay, there's already five panels of wardrobe built in space ready for you. And at the back is where you find something special which is a hidden bathroom. This hidden bathroom is actually merged with the WC towards the back. With this bathroom, it turns the common bedroom into a junior ensuite master. Now with ample countertop space for you to put in at least two sinks. So with your shower screen at the back, your WC and the ventilation window. Now let's move on to the master bedroom. First thing that you realize when you come to the master bedroom is that you have these eight panels of full height built-in wardrobe that's ready done for you. For someone, if you have a lot of things, this will be excellent for you. Now for the master ensuite toilet, similar design to the junior master ensuite bathroom as well. Now of course, ample countertop space ready for you. Now if you want to, you can add in his and her sink as well. WC, shower screen at the back, as well as three panels of ventilation window. Now we realize that this master room is rather huge as well. They've placed in currently a queen size bed with two side tables. Now if you which a king size bed would definitely be doable as well. So with this ample walking space available, of course they have also placed in a study desk right here. With five panels of window space, this gives very good natural lighting into the entire unit, which makes it perfect for your study come bedroom.
Now let's talk a little bit about the pricing behavior within West Cove itself. In terms of ground floor patio units within West Cove, there's only one other three patio patio on sale, asking at $1.73 million, 1128 PSF and size at 1539 square feet. Now for two beta patio units, Varsity Park Condominium is priced at 1.82 million, 1386 PSF and size at 1313 square feet. Now if we were to compare to non-patio two beta units, West Cove price range is between 1.2 to 1.38, PSF ranging between 1032 to 1176, size ranging between 1141 square feet to 1173 square feet. Now for West Bay Condominium, price ranging between 988 to 1.22 million, PSF ranging between 1091 to 1433, and size ranging between 850 to 83. Seven square feet. Now for C Hill, which is slightly newer, 1.18 million to 1.58 million, PSF ranging between 1429 to 1900 odd PSF, and size ranging between 786 square feet to 979 square feet. And for the Vision, the price is ranging between 1.35 million to 1.45 million, PSF ranging between 1548 to 1650, and size ranging between 818 to 904 square feet. Blue Horizon, PSF ranging between 1300 to 1400 odd PSF, size ranging between 936 to 958 square feet. Now, when it comes to property purchase, we often assist our clients to identify the PSF disparity gaps in the market and this is important so that with sufficient PSF gap versus the average PSF within the locale or the district, there is room for appreciation whenever there is a new benchmark pricing that's going to lead in terms of the pricing behavior in this area. Now, within West Coast itself, two beta PSF for newer projects with TOP date of later than 2000 are starting from 1300 odd PSF and those with TOP date with later than 2010 are starting from $1,400 odd PSF. And and our unit is asking at $1.56 million for at 1207 PSF for a very generous size of 1,292 square feet of space which includes a patio that can potentially be transformed into a very good outdoor hangout spot and that 100 to 200 PSF difference in terms of the gap can potentially give you a precision runway when you're thinking of your future exit plans in the next 5 to 7 years. Now we have come to the end of this video and if you are someone who is looking for a large size 2 beta standing at 1292 square feet within District 5 and you want to find something with sufficient PSF disparity between the older and the newer projects, I think this unit might be the right one for you. And if you like what you have seen in this video, do hit the like and subscribe button on our YouTube channel as well as follow us on all major social media channels. My name is Yongjun, Property Lim Brothers, always happy to show you the place. I'll touch more a little bit on the I'll touch more on, on I'll touch more on the location in detail later. I think it's excellent where you know the layout in the olden days. Wait, wait. Yeah. Two better within District 5 and